Okay, in this video, we are going to try to do 1977 AB6 from the AP Calculus exam. Uh, it's a related rates problem, which is why I'm doing it. I've uh, been recently going through as many related rates problems as I can find. So, 1977, back in the day. All right, a rectangle has a constant area of 200 meters. So that means length times width is always 200 meters. Square meters, 200 square meters. And its length L is increasing at the rate of four meters per second. So I guess uh, DL DT is constant. So let's start writing down things that we know. Uh, we know that uh, we have a rectangle, which you probably don't need a picture of, and that's not really a rectangle. Let me auto shape it, which like not really one of my strengths. All right, so uh, I tend to, uh, I don't really know. I think of this as L and W, I guess. I don't really do that, I don't know. Like, what's the length and what's the width? I feel like they're both, either could be either, whatever. We just know that L times W is definitely 200. We also know that uh, DL DT is positive four. Four? It's always four. Four meters per second. All right. Find the width. So find W at the instant that the width is decreasing, so when dw dt is negative 0.5 meters per second. So we're gonna try to find, find w when dw dt is negative one half meter per second. All right, so uh, we're gonna have to do something on the level of the derivative because we don't really know anything about uh, l or w at this particular time right now. We do know that uh, W is equal to 200 over L. And then we also know, uh, yeah, I'm going to go with that. So we know W is 200 over L. So W equals 200 divided by L. And then uh, because we know DL DT, and then, I don't know, is that going to help? That might help. It might also not help. You know, it might be better to do something. I, I feel like I'm missing something essential here. Like, I feel like I need another piece of information. I don't know. When, when in doubt, just dive in, right? So I'm going to not do this, even though I think it's probably a great idea. I'm going to take L times W equals 200 and find the derivative with respect to time of that. I mean, which is, it's equivalent to what I was going to do. But I think this is better. So this is me doing these problems live. There's no planning. There's no thinking about them at a time. Uh, so they're also a little less organized than when I do that. But I think that's probably good for people to see. So first, derivative of the second plus second, derivative of the first is equal to, remember the derivative of a constant is zero. Oh my God, number one mistake that I see people make all the time. And it just like makes everything so much harder. So like one, you've done something wrong and two, if you persist after doing it, everything you're doing is harder. So that's like not really great. Um, all right, I know DL DT is four, so that's okay. I know, uh, what is going on? Do I not need one other piece of information here? Uh, w, oh, you know what I know? I know that uh, L is 200 over W. So, gross, all right. So, this means that L is 200 over W. So we can substitute a lot. We can go 200 over W times dW dt at this instant is negative 1 half plus W. dL dt is always 4. So 4 equals 0. Okay, so negative 100 over W plus 4W equals zero. I thought I was missing some piece of information. I guess I like sort of was. Negative 100 plus 4W squared over W equals zero. So uh, 4W squared equals 100W squared equals 25W equals plus or minus 25, but um, since it's Plus or minus five, I should say. But therefore, W equals five in the context of this problem, because I do not believe that we can have a negative um, side. 
So this is the answer. That's my like final answer, I guess meters. My final answer, but keep in mind, all of the work is your answer. So it's not like you're just boxing that and saying like five. No, you gotta show all that work. So I think that's right. At what rate is the diagonal D of the rectangle changing at the instant when the width W is 10 meters? So we wanna find something. Uh, first of all, I need, I need like, okay, so the diagonal. Draw that in or diagonal. So this is D, this is L. So I know that uh, D squared equals L squared plus W squared, which might be the good way to go with that. So I'm gonna like think of this as an entirely kind of set, how much space? Oh, I have an infinite amount of space. So uh, I'm gonna think of this as an entirely separate problem and copy, uh, copy this part right here and bring it down and like just, this is a new problem, right? So this is part B. All right, we're trying to find uh, lowercase d, so d, 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 t, mm, when w equals 10. Okay, so if w equals 10 right away, we know that l is equal to 20 because W times L has to be 200. That's a good start. Um, I also know that D squared equals L squared plus W squared. So then 2D, this, I think of this as like the classic related rates problem because uh, Pythagorean theorem, the derivative of the Pythagorean theorem with respect to time strikes me as like, you know, one of the, one of the real, uh, basic problems. So what is DW DT though? I don't think I know that. I think, oh my God. Wait, do I have to do basically part A again, but solve for DW DT? Or can I do this? W is equal to 200 over L. So DW DT, uh, all right, I have an idea. W is equal to 200 over L. So DW DT is negative 200 over L squared DL DT. Because I know DL DT, I know L. So let's just, let's just do it. Let's just find DW DT. So DW DT such that L equals 20 and DL DT equals four is negative 200 over 400 times four, which is negative two. All right, DW DT is negative two. W is 10, I think we're good to go. I think we know everything here, except I don't know what D is, but uh, so D squared equals 400 plus 100. So D is the square root of 500. 10 root five if you like, but like, I, I don't like that. So I'm gonna say it's two root 500 D, 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 T is two, L is 20, D, L, D, T is four, plus two, W is 10, D, W, D, T is negative two, so D, 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 T is 8, 160, uh, four, minus 40 over, should I make it to 10 root five? I probably should, right? So it's like 10, 10 20, 20 root five. Radical 500 is 10 root five. So 20, over 20 root five. I hope that's not like the place I screw it up. So 120 over 20 is six over root five. D, 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 T, six over root five. Something's per something. Do we have units? Uh, meters per second. Weird. I, I, well, I mean, there's nothing weird about that. Meters per second. This, okay, so again, 
this is the caveat at the end of all of these. Like this, oh, I can't do it anyway. Did I just crash this? No. Why can't I highlight you? I don't know. Can't highlight. But uh, so the answer is six over root five, I think six over root five meters per second. But all of this is your solution and you need it. You need to show the work. Um, so there you go, I think. That was a good problem. Uh, you got to see me lost several times. Uh, in particular, this problem to me always just feels like every part of it felt like we didn't quite have enough information, but then it turned out we did have enough information. So that's pretty awesome. All right, uh, I'm going to uh, stop this here. So I hope this was helpful and uh, good luck.